Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and I'm super excited, you guys. I have finally got my hands on the Too Faced uh, Natural Eyes and Natural Face Collection. I'm super excited about this. When I saw this on Trend Mood, long before it was ever released, I was obsessed with the packaging and I know some of you if packaging is not your thing I totally get it because it can seem like a stupid waste of money but you guys when I tell you I've been excited for this launch for a long time believe me now I did order mine from the Too Faced website as proved by this sexy box as well as um, my order itself so um, I did purchase them directly from again from Too Faced however um, I have my order here and I made some notes um, when I first arrived of things that I wanted to remember to tell you guys the first note I'm going to have and I printed out the date that I ordered this it was purchased on March 15th it did not arrive until the 28th which is 13 days so almost two weeks later I did I received finally my package two weeks is in my opinion the most unacceptable especially when it's shipping from California anything from California I can usually get in like you know five ish days I could understand again because I don't think I paid yet. I didn't pay for expedited shipping so if it takes you know five to seven days even I'm like oh you know okay I get it but I'm sorry 13 days almost two weeks is a little bit ridiculous in my opinion and it does say under shipping and billing right here um, it says orders typically ship within one to two days from the time they are received please allow an additional two to three days for orders placed during major sales this was not a major sale it wasn't even like that big of a launch um, I, sh I shouldn't say like that big but it's not like this was like some huge you know revolutionary launch or anything it was a new launch but it wasn't a sale and um, one to two days it took them over a week to process my order like I don't think what does it have the shipped date on this box yes the ship date marked on the box is March 25th so it arrived three days after it was shipped um, but it took 10 days to ship it and I'm sorry I just think 10 days is ridiculous I did reach out to Too Faced on Twitter and I asked them about it and they said oh send us an email I went and I tried to send them an email I never got a response and then then I tried to send them three emails um, one of them went through and the other two that I tried to do through their website did not work So I've never had this issue before with Too Faced like a lot of times their shipping is slow But this was ridiculous and I only say this because it does add to the overall experience I'm not bitching just to bitch. It's just whenever I order from a place you guys know I've talked about Sephora I've talked about Ulta I talk about everybody and this is just like my experience with this brand and trying to purchase from them So it took them 10 days to ship it out and they didn't seem to give a shit and no one on Twitter like even replied when I told them like hey guys I purchased I purchased this a week and a half ago and I, it hasn't shipped yet. Can you help me? Can someone send me a message? Literally nothing back. I was like, okay, well, apparently not. So with all that being said, we're going to go ahead and dive in. Sorry, you would have had this review like two weeks ago, um, but you know, that doesn't happen in the world. So let's go ahead and dive into what I did pick up, shall we? We're going to start with the Natural Eyes Collection this packaging slays so basically this is not basically this is what it is and you end up taking off this right here so it's kind of like a slide on like um like topper unicarton which it's extra packaging and i hate the fact that it's just like essentially extra garbage but as far as the overall presentation i really love it and then you're left with this which of course you open up and your palette is inside dude the air just kicked on and it was so loud it scared me Whew. okay sorry so this is the packaging for the natural eyes collection and then you open it up and you get a big pan size mirror right here and then these are the eye colors now I will try to get it to focus um, but as you guys know anytime there's like a reflective part right here my camera has a hard time and I don't know why I think it's because the lights bounce off but the one thing more than the colors I want to talk about with this and I don't know how well it's going to pick up on camera, but you guys, this is like solid glass, like, or I don't know if it's glass, but this is solid as hell. This feels like something that is expensive. This ended up being $38, and I'm not going to lie, it's expensive, especially when you only get what? three six you get 12 shades I mean like it's not cheap I'm not gonna sit here and say that like oh it's such a good value because I don't think that it is um, what are the pan sizes it looks like you get the big ones are 0.07 and the small ones are 0.04 so 0.704 um, 
not not the most amount of product i'm not gonna lie these ones are stamp smaller than a standard urban decay shadow these ones are just under one and a half urban decay shadows so i mean it's not you know it's not the most amount of product really what you're paying for here in my opinion is the packaging it's a magnetic closure it's got this cute little heart detail it's very romanticized packaging and i love that lace look on it oh my god like i live I live for this packaging and the face which we will get to obviously after the eyes are done does have the same exact packaging which is great now I have went through I swatched everything on my arm and at first impression I'm gonna be a hundred and ten percent honest with you guys because obviously that's how I am um, I was really underwhelmed when I saw this they do offer an all matte version and I was like no I am not all about that like that is so boring there's nothing in this palette that's revolutionary as it is and when I swatched these I was so impressed with the level of creaminess and the amount of pigmentation these are very pigmented shadows they swatched beautifully which I mean for me to get that like vibrant of a swatch out of these I, I really I honestly didn't expect it like I'm not even trying to be mean I just didn't expect it um, and at first I honestly thought that these were like formulated in rows like like here's an eye here's an eye and here's an eye but I don't think that that's the case but for some reason in my mind it was but neither here nor there at this point so let's go ahead we are going to jump into swatches we're gonna talk about it you know kind of play around with it we're gonna put them on our eyeballs and uh, we're gonna go from there first up we have heaven cashmere bunny sex espresso silk teddy push-up erotica strip poker Honey Pot and Chocolate Martini. So that right there is the entire palette. And you can really see how beautiful and deep that pigmentation is. At least I'm hoping it's picking up on camera because I'm really impressed with these swatches. Hello brows, how you doing? So first up you guys, we are gonna start with working the shade Strip Poker, which is this nice, I would say like a very light kind of brown shade, no shimmer in this one. We're gonna start by working that into the crease followed by cashmere bunny which is another darker matte shade you can kind of see the two on here as they correlate so we're going to start with this guy and then work this guy in as well over top keeping the darker colors obviously concentrated more toward that outer v portion and we're going to be doing all of this with the wayne goss number no. three brush because it's one of my favorite crease brushes Alright, now I am getting a little bit of residual fallout and there is a little bit of kick in pan. These shadows do appear to be very soft shadows, so if you're working with them, I would definitely suggest some kind of bake that you'll be able to wipe away. Um, but so far they blended out really beautifully. They blend together beautifully. There's not any like excess skipping or anything. So as far as that goes, I think the softness of the shadow is really working in their favor. Um, I'm going to go in now with a Morphe E17 brush and we're going to build up a little bit. We work, I want to mix the shade, um, Sexpresso and Erotica. That sounds like a hell of a fun combo, but I want to mix these. This one is a dark matte, like deep black brown. And then this one is a very similar color, but with a little bit of sparkle thrown in there. Um, so I want to kind of ha add the erotica on top just a little bit. That's really pretty. And I like that. I kind of brought the dark color up a little bit higher and I think that it's really going to shape out the eye quite nicely now for which sparkly like shimmer shade i kind of want um there's only really i mean there's a couple sparkly options in here but as far as to go with this eye the only real choices are this gold this pink or this pink there's a couple other sparkly ones but none that i would consider to really you know that, that for me that would go with this um because it is more basic and the one that stood out to me, I think I'm going to go in with this gold shade right here, the shade Honey Pot. Um, I mean, honestly, I think it's the one that, uh, they would all look nicely, but that's like the most me option in this palette. So I am curious. I think it goes onto the finger stunningly. I want to apply it with my finger and just see, because you guys know I have super textured lids and a lot of times um, I have a hard time p applying any sort of like a shimmer shade without a glue because it doesn't want to stand out on my super textured lids. Um, that does look beautiful. It gives a very nice sheen. 
but I feel like it could be a little bit more intense. Now, traditionally speaking, my lids do not like it when I spray my brushes with Fix Plus. It makes anything ball up. It doesn't matter how, how high quality the shadow is, it gets really gummy and bally on my lids. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over that a little bit, little, little bit, with um, some glitter glue just to see if I can really amp up that color. Again, for me, this isn't for most people. A lot of people, they build up just fine with this or some Fix Plus. But for me, I have to go in with glue quite often to make sure that things go on and look look the way that they're supposed to look because I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that amount of intensity but I want it to be a lot more I want it to look like see how blinding it is on my finger where it's really packed down tight versus my lid that's what I'm going for so I'm just taking a little bit of the Too Faced glitter glue on my finger here and we're just gonna kinda slab it right on over top nothing too precise about this part which is my favorite my favorite aspect we're gonna go back in same finger same color and we're just gonna see the difference already is that not crazy you guys some people hate using their fingers with their shadows that's totally fine me personally I love it I think I think one of my most effective tools is my finger because I can feel where the shadow is going I can feel exactly if it's like funny if it's sitting weird I can just tell just by feeling it so for me this works really well but again if you're like a fix plus uh, brush brush sprayer that's fine too doesn't matter to me none. Whatever works best for you. I do want to go in just a little bit and I want to bridge that gap between that gold and that darker outer V. So I'm going to go back in with a mixture of cashmere bunny and espresso. These two right here. Or I'm sorry, sexpresso. And um, I want to kind of bridge that a little bit. So let's just kind of mix them. And I'm going in. This is a Wayne Goss number 3 brush. Um, and I'm just going to like lightly lay it down. Very little amount of product. Mainly for transition guys there you go just a little bit I just don't like there to be a harsh line between my glitter and the outer V so now no additional product on here I'm just gonna take and glide it back over and help blend a little bit more of that gold onto that matte color right there it's just the blending process that I do I know it's a little bit weird a lot of people think I'm crazy but that's fine <laughs> not the first time I've heard it. I'm going to go in with this ColourPop brush real quick and a little bit of the shade Heaven right here. And I want to take that onto the upper brow bone area and just really lightly kind of buff that whole area out. You guys, though, there is such... A, can you see all the fallout on my face right now? Wow, that's crazy. So next up, we're going to go back in with that Sexpresso shade. Sexpresso, this shade right here. And I want to run that tight, tight, tight to the lower lash line um, for a little bit of under eye definition and just to really help carry up that really intense smoke on that outer V. When you add that color to the lower lash line, it really helps lift it. It's kind of like right now, you know, before the lower lash line, imagine you have someone only lifting right here just to try, you know, it's trying to do all the work and it looks a little funny. When you add that same corresponding color to the lower lash line, it's like both sides are lifting together to really create that like lifted outer V area on your eye. This is that no-name sparkly brush making a comeback, and we're going to dive in to the shade Strip Poker, which is right here, and then this white shade down here in the shade Heaven. We're going to use both of those colors to kind of blend that lower color on the lower lash line. Okay, you guys, I'm going to run off. I'm going to do this eye super quick, and then when I come back, we're talking about the eye palette, or the face, the eye palette. We already talked about the eye palette. We're going to talk about the face palette. How about that? Because, yes, please, yes, please, yes, please. Oh my God, I'm so excited. All right, guys, I got both eyes all finished up. And I have to be honest, it does go on very easy. It's very easy to work with, manipulate, blend. All things to that are great. Um, the only thing that I'm not a big fan of with that palette was all the fallout. I did have a lot with both the matte shades and the shimmer shades. So that, for me, is a little bit of a detractor. But we're going to move on. Um, now we're going to be looking at at the face which has the exact same um, outside packaging here and then you open it up okay well you try to open it up and then you magnet yourself but these are the colors you get on the inside maybe if I hold them back here there we go it's a little bit better so you can see you get a couple highlights a couple blushes and then like a bronzer matte bronzer and a sparkly bronzer um, I'm not 100% sure if that's how they identify them that is how I identify them and if you'd like to kind of take a look at them I have swatched them on my hand for you um, I have to be honest you guys 
because you see that there's two um, highlights on that top row, right? Top row is two highlights, middle are the two blushes, bottom would be what I would call the two bronzers, one matte, one shimmer. Um, I think that they're pretty, but for some reason I feel like this blush, or just this highlight right here does stand out to me a lot more both on camera and in real life. Um, if it were me, I would say that this other highlight, which is in the shade Starlight, it's almost like an iridescent pink color, this one right here. And I have to be honest, for me, I would almost consider that more a blush topper than a highlight just because of the way that it kind of hits the light. But that's neither here nor there. We're going to go in with the Sunny Honey, what I'm going to consider Sunny Honey Bronzer, which is the lighter of the two. And we're going to start applying that. This is my IT Cosmetics 313 Velvet Luxe Plus. Velvet Luxe Plush Powder Brush. Oh my god. We're going to just kind of go in here, tap off a little bit, and we're going to go in. This does also have a beautiful full-size mirror in it. And uh, we're going to dust. Now, what I like about this bronzer is that it is um, a lighter in shade. By the way, both of these palettes smell amazing. Very strong smell, though. So if you're not a big smell person, you won't like these. It's almost like where vanilla meets something else. I'm not 100% sure yet, but it does have a smell to it. A very intense. Like I can taste it when it kicks up into my mouth. I can, I can taste it. As long as you tap off enough, you can make it work for lighter skin tones. Although it is pulling very orange in real life. So that's a little bit of a bummer. So definitely not for the fairest of skin tones, but overall, I think it's pretty nice. I don't think it would work. Uh oh, well, I just got some blush on my brush now, didn't I? As I was saying, I don't think it would be the best for um, deeper skin tones or for lighter skin tones. These pan sizes are really pissing me off because this is, I use this blush, this brush for my bronzer every day, a lot of the time, and it keeps tapping into that mother effing blush right next to it. And it's like, it's pinky winky or some shit. It really does. It says pink wink, my bad. But seriously, I can't accidentally bronze with that. Oh my good lord. Sweet baby Jesus, deliver me. I'd look like a dinkus from Olympus. But I don't think that this palette is for really deep skin tones, and I don't think that it's even for light skin tones, honestly. Because, again, that bronzer is pulling very orange on me. Not very, but pretty friggin' orange in certain lighting, which, again, makes me believe that it's not for the lighter of the skin tones. Like, you can have a light-toned bronzer and say, oh, it's for, it's for light skin tones, but that's not accurate at all. A lot of times, um, lighter-toned bronzers like this are still going to pull orange on very, very fair skin like I have. Um, so again, kind of rendering it more useful for middle skin tones, which is pretty much what everything in the beauty industry is geared toward, is the, the middle skin tones of the world. <laughs> Those people with tans. All right, and now for blush, I'm going to go in with Pink Sand. You guys, I love a good mauve blush, and this color is absolutely stunning. And I'm going to kind of go ahead. This is my Wayne Goss number 11. I use this as my blush brush. It's one of my favorites. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and apply, oh man, you guys, there's, there's some pigment in this, in this blush. We're going to have to, oh girl, oh girl, oh, oh, I love that color, but it, mm -hmm. they are pigmented blushes, y'all, in case she was curious. You guys, I tried a different combination for foundation today, and apparently it looks like actual dog ass on my face, so that's great, wonderful. So, so far, I actually think that those colors blend out and look really beautiful. And P.S. you guys, I know I didn't say this yet, but this Natural Face Palette is $44. And you get, the, all the pans have 0.14 ounces, it looks like, in each of them. Each of these in the Park Avenue Princess have 0.158 ounces, so just shy of 0.16. And again, these have 0.14, so these are even smaller than that. Just, again, just to give you guys like a frame of reference for how much product you'd be getting. Now, anytime I do highlight, I like to spray my face first, and then I go in with highlight. So I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter. Now, for the highlight, you guys, I am going to go in with the shade Satin Sheets, um, which of the two is the more golden one, that one on top right there. And we're going to go in with that on a Wayne Goss number no. 2 brush. I love this for highlighting. And again, my cheeks are still a little bit damp, so I'm just going to pick up what picks up picks up a lot of product and we're just gonna kind of this is really emphasizing a lot of my texture and honestly you guys the emphasizing of texture is something that's very specific to each person their texture where their texture is how raised it is what it's from some people say that if it's like uh, texture from old acne that it's gonna be you know it shows up different on the face than say texture from 
um, just like natural facial like pores and stuff so it really is specific to each person actually like that highlight isn't even sticking to start hold on you guys I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera but there's little areas like right in here that it's not even sticking to my face that is the weirdest thing it only did it a little bit on this side like right up in here but it's like it won't stick to me um, I am going to go ahead, I'm going to finish up my face, I'm going to add just some liner, mascara, and a lip, which I did pick up three colors from the line, so I will swatch those for you. I will have one on my face, and uh, we're just going to talk about that. We're going to wrap up and decide what I think is worth it and what I do not think you should buy, because maybe it's a waste of your money. Maybe I love it all. We will find out shortly. Okay, you guys, so I got the rest of my face all finished up. As far as what is on the lips, I did pick up three of their lipsticks. Now the first thing, again, we can address and check out this packaging. It has like this beautiful lace detail and that goes all around the packaging and it's just, it's so stunning. It's a pop-off lid and then it has this really interesting like applicator to it. Like the, I feel like the way that this is cut is very different from what you see in traditional lipsticks. It's a little bit fatter as far as how around it is, as well as the the overall slant. It just seems a little bit different to me. Now, the one thing I will say about this is that I had a difficult time when I was applying it, kind of getting it very precise because I couldn't see the, the sharper end, the sharper line side to really get like a good tight, kind of precision to it um but overall i think the color was beautiful and opaque now i picked up three colors which again i have swatched on my hand here and from yes from top to bottom these are girl code nip slip and skinny dipping so the what the uh, nip slip and skinny dipping are really similar i went ahead and i ombre a little bit of these first two colors right here and then popped a little gloss in the center now i picked up three shades i'm not going to say i picked them up at random but i did pick up what i thought were three you know three different spots in the collection so i could kind of gauge the tone and the undertone and that sort of thing and i have to be honest they offer a ton. These are $22 a piece, which isn't like, I go like, holy crap, that's expensive. But really, if you think about it, as far as high-end lipsticks, it's not that bad. But what I think is kind of cool is that if you look at the collection of lipsticks as a whole on their website or on Ulta's website or wherever you happen to be perusing this collection, um, there is a variety of lipsticks to represent different skin tones. Um, for that being, with that being said, I think that that's why these bottom two, they just are not my skin tone. The only one out of the three that I really care for is this dark one, which is is pretty dark for me. I don't oftentimes gravitate toward this kind of color, but if these are your jam, they are, they go on beautiful. The color is very opaque. They are super comfortable, and they are they're not matte. They're not super shiny. They're like a good in between. And again, I added a little gloss just because I like that little pop. So as far as the lipsticks go, I'm not a big fan of all the colors that I personally picked up, but I think the lipsticks in general are beautiful. Um, and Too Faced makes amazing lipsticks, and the packaging is great. They're not plastic. They have like that metal kind of feeling like almost I, I call it metal I don't think it's probably technically metal but it does have a really nice weight feel to it they look very nice they feel very nice and they're not the kind of detailing that's gonna like slough off like on a lot of other packaging so I think that these are a big hit I really like them again just not so much the colors I have that could not be louder now let's jump back through the other two palettes real quick um you guys I really sat here and I kind of struggled with these um, again $38 I believe versus 44 let's go ahead and start with the eye palette because that's what we played with first um, I think that the colors are beautiful I think that they go on okay um, my biggest issue with these would be a the fallout I'm not a big fan of all the fallout that I had all over my face um, I, I just for me I don't mind there being some fallout but I do feel like there was a little bit excess in this and I feel like if you're gonna create a palette that is not very nuanced it's not super um, new age it's not super exciting I feel like you have to have something that makes it you know a little bit more standout ish the packaging is beautiful but what about the shadows and I think it would have been great to say oh you know what they're not that great but man these things are clean they are clean shadows and instead I had kick in pan which is probably why they were so blendable, but unfortunately they also had a lot of fallout. So I don't know. I feel like if you have any collections at all of makeup, you don't need this for the colors. The quality of the shadows and the blendability are stunning. I have very textured lids, and a lot of times when I'm working with shadows, they skip, which isn't a big deal to me. I usually just fix it and move on. But these, I did not have any issue skipping. They were just beautiful. They went on. They blended out super quick and easy. Um, and I used, I only needed like two brushes and a finger to do my whole eye, which is great. So, um, I mean, as far as that goes, I think they're great. Do I think that you need them? No. 
I was just really disappointed in the overall fallout. Like, I feel like in 2018, that should be mastered. There, I guess the long answer, I thought I was totally going to sneeze just then. Am I going to sneeze? So for me, I'm not 100% sold on this, but if you're someone that loves this aesthetic and you're looking for like a super quick, easy thing that you can put on your vanity, it's go-to, it's quick, it's done, it's out the door, and it'll look beautiful. For some people, that's really important. Maybe they display stuff like this. This would be something that you definitely could use, and it would double duty as a display piece, a mirror, as well as, you know, functionality-wise. All of the same, you know, aspects and things that I just said about that do go for the face palette as well, as far as functionality, aesthetic, and whatnot. You could have a matching set. They would look beautiful and depending on your skin tone this would work beautifully for you now for me personally as a super pasty person I this is not so much my jam which is so unfortunate because I was so excited about this I am noticing that that bronzer just pulled a little bit more orange on me than I would like which means that in order for me to build it up to the intensity that I would normally do that um, I would end up looking like a carrot so for me the even the matte bronzer that I really thought I was gonna get some use out of not so much for me um, the blushes I really love this mauve blush I think it's stunning it's probably my favorite thing in this whole palette. Um, I don't think I would ever gravitate toward this blush. It would be better for, you know, probably medium to deeper skin tones, not so much for my pasty ass. I would look like a lollipop if I put that on my face. And then the two highlights I probably was so disappointed in the most. Again, as I said before, facial texture can be something that it's so personal and it's so specific, but I found that when, as I built it up on my face, it, it wasn't even just texture. All of a sudden it became creasy and a little cakey and I just you know how that you never you ever put something on your face and it makes you go mm, like the kind where you like run your tongue over your teeth and you're like mm, no you know that you know what I'm talking about it's it kind of <laughs> I'm probably the only one, but it did that to me, and it was really frustrating because, again, I really loved that highlight. I'm covered in swatches all over the place, but I loved that so much, and I was just so disappointed. I really think that this palette is great. I think it's it's a decent, you know, buy. I'm not going to say it's, like, the best deal for $44 or anything. I think, again, packaging is stunning, but you can only beat that horse so far. Um, I think it'd be something probably better for medium skin tones than for me or even for deeper skin tones, um, but overall, I think it's okay. It's just not my favorite, unfortunately mainly because of my skin tones. I keep trying to put myself in this frame of reference where like what if I was a little bit deeper complected if I was deeper complected if I was tan I would probably really love this because both highlights would show up and they'd be beautiful and they'd be vibrant and they probably wouldn't be as cakey because I wouldn't have to build them and layer them in certain ways um, the blushes I would be able to get use out of both of those as well as both of the bronzers both the matte and the shimmery one so I don't know you guys it's so much for me not so much but those are just my overall thoughts of the collection I can't say that I'm gonna keep any and or all of it. Um, I write, I might keep this lipstick though because I really, I, it's like growing on me, you know that feeling. So anyways you guys, that is it for this video. I really hope that you liked it, that it was well rounded and that it gave you as much information as I could because you guys know that is the sole purpose of my reviews on this channel. I don't come on here and tell you always what to do with your money, what to buy, what I think you should buy, but in times like this I do just want to present you guys with all of the information that I have and kind of go from there. So that is it you guys. There's nothing more to do. Please do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe down below if you have not already because I love watching that number grow and I love it because it means that you guys like what I'm doing and that's really important <laughs> to me because it's nice to know that I'm putting out content you guys actually want to see so please do not forget to do that for me I really appreciate it and I hope you have a great day night weekend whatever it is when you're watching this and I will see you in the next one natural face natural lies not so natural lips but they're kind of pretty kind of uh, kind of okay kind of